welcome to another edition of MVP React. Today I'm gonna take a look at a, at a startup that's called Lifetime and I found it on AngelList because let's face it, if I looked on Product Hunt, I would only find more polished MVPs that were already tested before they sent to Product Hunt. So I, I looked on AngelList, found the first startup that caught my attention and let's react to it. They say they are Snapchat for news. Have no idea what this means. That's a good. Uh, I mean, the, the the first insight is that they probably have short-lived news in very short format. But let's check it out. The first reaction. It's if you take a look at the website here, like lifetimeio.herokuapp.com. Heroku is a platform for um, for deploying your applications and given that they don't have their own domain yet I'm starting to think that this is actually a very small MVP let's let's see but I'm liking it it means that they are using everything they can to to launch and test their their app even before they have the domain ready let's see taking a while to load probably on um, Heroku's free account that um, sleeps for a while before um, when no one is ac accessing it the Heroku service will sleep and then you have to wake them up probably that's why it's taking a while or or it, it will be broken right uh, the, the good thing no no it's not broken I was right newsworthy moments live from my phone to yours also oh, so it's probably not um, created for news from journalists, probably from um, regular folks to regular folks. Looks good. Um, I love the yellow design and I love the idea of having a video showing uh, at, in the background. The logo is beautiful, lifetime. The L, two L's that look like a camera or something like that. Mm, very well designed, in my opinion. And then, then they have the contact us button revolutionizing news for the generation of streamers hmm. it's the first time i get the sense that this is not actually news because why why would it say for the generation of streamers maybe it's just um, a way of for them to position themselves like news for the new generation or something like that but streamers I don't know, I, I didn't like this positioning. Live stream not, not worth the moments in real time. Yeah, I think it's a, just a positioning thing. Learn to trust. Fake news end with us. Okay. So here they, are, they have their value propositions and contact button that goes to Lucia Bugiano at lifetime.io. They do have a domain, just the product is not there yet, which, which is great. I, I love seeing very, very early stage stuff here. So it seems to be very early stage. Let's click on contact us. Yeah, just go to the email as I expected. Actually go back here and see the about us. Okay, values, uh, another place for, for value propositions. And then they have a survey. And now folks, this is probably the actual MVP. They are so early that they are testing the market hypothesis they don't have a product they they, they 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 have only a great design let's go back to it and not not here right this is not polished but the logo in my opinion is very good the video and this is it might, this might even be a template right but the logo is good and the part above the fold here is um, created a sensation of something more advanced. And this is what they are looking for because they want us to like the concept and click on the survey. And then probably here is what they are actually testing. What's the biggest struggle problem in your personal life? Why should I answer this? <laughs> Has nothing to do with news. Let me, let me test something here just to see. What's your biggest struggle on a daily basis at work? Weird. Um, didn't see this coming like when you see something shocking and recorded where do you share it i would start with this question because then it's like really tied to the concept i wouldn't answer something about my personal life or my biggest struggles right away 
I need to know it's relevant to the product, right? So here, here we have a relevant um, question. Save to camera row, share with, let's mark this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna give my answer because my answer would be I don't record it. And then probably that's the finish. All right, I'm not gonna go through the full, full questionnaire here. I'm just gonna say, this is a very early MVP. This is exactly what I was looking for. And the only thing I think they should do better, like much better, is that they should put a call to action here, like help us uh, create this product by filling the survey. Probably not this copy, but something that with a strong call to action, instead of contact us, uh, calling people to answer the survey. Probably this is what I would do differently at this stage. And then the contact us might, might be here or something like that. Awesome. So another episode with a very early stage, even earlier than the, the previous episode, episode, right? We um, are lucky to be finding very early stage MVPs to comment because my intention with this is to encourage you to launch your product when you don't think you're ready yet. Those folks are doing it. The folks from last time are doing it. So maybe you can do it also. All right. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.